Good morning, folks. Today we hit top science news, weather, earthquakes, physics, satellites, soil, fracking, and radio frequency cancer. But let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star were quite calm indeed. No sunspots, no solar flares, no filament eruptions or other CMEs. Just a big coronal hole to which we magnetically connected yesterday. Looking at the solar wind, we see a slight speed enhancement, but it's still in slow range. The phi angle in blue up top shifted from Earth to Sun in yesterday's morning news, back to Sun to Earth, and back again at night. While the fields were streaming back in our direction, that coronal hole earthquake warning shot came out from the app as it directly faced Earth and presented the largest opening, yet another six-pointer, once again striking the low-velocity zone below. Solar wind from the coronal hole is still about 36 hours away. Let's look at the lightning rippling across the Gulf of Mexico yesterday after it exited the states. This is one of the more extreme displays we're going to see, and we have only the convergence line to blame. It appears like a thin, long line of clouds, but the energy actually isn't coming straight up the line. It's coming in from the sides. Air masses meet along that line, rapidly equalizing temperature, moisture, pressure, and electric potential. That change taking place over short time and distance means there will be high energy available for the atmosphere where they collide. I can honestly say that the science on Vesta and Ceres from the Dawn satellite has been some of the coolest, especially the bright spots on Ceres. But alas, just as Kepler has run out of fuel, Dawn is now retired as well. Great work, little guy. Folks, there is a very cool paper out which shows the points of all fast radio bursts and speculates as to whether there are two ways FRBs can be produced. It's a solid read. In the largest radio frequency study in history, the cancer-making power of even these low-energy radio waves is confirmed. That's the stuff in your house. Cell phones, electronic devices, global magnetic field resonance from solar storms, and Schumann resonance changes due to cosmic rays. It's all included. So the frack quake danger apparently follows the water. The injection, flow, settling, interesting article out for those interested in the topic. Another one of note is that the best fertilizers in the world can't stack up to straight old manure when it comes to healthy soil and crop yield. They say the manure increases electrical conductivity in the ground as well, which probably isn't as much of a lone negative as they see it, but probably required for the life of the plant. Interesting paper out showing the connection regions between our star and the solar wind, known as the corona, a sea of plasma through which the key magnetic fields of the sun and solar system are found. Super geek article recommendation there. And last but not least, we are at Harvard here reading about how the age of the universe is not behaving as scientists want it. Link is below to learn about how we misunderstand the cosmos, perhaps fundamentally so. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank you.